Hi Red and Blue News, Carl here doing the Palace Inquisition. My first game was in 1975 and my love affair of both Crystal Palace and the FA Cup started with a first round game versus Walton and Hersham. Uh, Palace won one nil, uh, but as a as a young seven year old, I was already uh, absolutely blown away by the atmosphere. Stood on the halfway line on the Arthur Way down the side, and just even just the the crowd experience of walking up to the ground carried over the turnstile by my old man. So I think I was already dodging pain there. My favourite Palace player is uh, Jim Cannon. I saw more of him through my childhood than I saw of my parents. He was there at my first game, that Walton Hersham game. By the time I went off to university, he was still playing for Palace. Uh, 571 games, could have gone on and played for far bigger clubs than us. Stayed with us as we went up and down the leagues many a time, so it's got to be Jimbo. Jimbo, 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 Jimbo. My most memorable game uh, was April 1990. I'm sure I won't be the only person to say this one. Uh, I woke up on a Sunday morning with an absolutely screaming hangover uh, at my parents' house, uh, having been to see the Happy Mondays uh, with Paul Oakenfield DJing the night before. I, I even contemplated not going to the game. I felt that lousy, but uh, fortunately wasn't on driving duty and was dragged to Bill Park to see... Uh, Palace 4, Liverpool 3, FA Cup semi-final. Uh, I was there at the 9-0, and so it, it meant, I think it, it meant so much to any Palace fan, but if you were there for the humiliation of that 9-0, then it really did mean something else. I'll never forget that feeling of tumbling down the, uh, the whole end, literally in just limbs and bodies in some of the greatest celebrations. Uh, the celebrations for the first Probably even for the first goal felt even bigger than the uh, for the fourth goal. Just absolutely amazing. My most memorable goal is uh, Dougie Freeman at Stockport. It's, it's interesting through, you know, generally slightly more highs than lows supporting Palace. Uh, when I first went, we were a third division team. We're a Premier League team now. So I guess you, by definition, you'd say there's been more ups than downs. But you remember, uh, or I anyway, I remember the uh, the saving of things far more than the uh, the winning of things, and uh, it felt like oblivion if we had lost at Stockport. And not only was the uh, you know the Hopkins handball, the hoof up the field, Dougie picking that ball up and just jinking, and and the then placing it into the back of the net, lofting it into the net. The pitch invasion, they're just absolutely amazing. The timing, incredible. I mean, uh, you know, the, uh, Ambrose gets high up there for uh, for both the, his goal at Man United and his saving goal at Sheffield Wednesday, but Dougie Freeman's wins it for me. Uh, my first Palace shirt owned was uh, the Admiral Sash in 1978. Uh, remember it, got it as a Christmas present. Also got the uh, tracksuit top as well. Well, Got the full tracksuit, but walked around with that tracksuit top until the moment I grew out of it. Uh, it was a uh, typical red and blue sash coming over. We had the little red stripe going down. Big yellow uh, Umbro logo there from memory. Absolutely loved it to bits. Always have a soft spot for the sash, as I know most Palace fans do. My favourite Palace kit is a... Uh, I do love that red and blue sash I just talked about, but I'll, I'll go for the red and blue striped... Adidas uh, with the white shorts, which was the uh, the templated Bayern Munich kit from uh, from the mid nineties. Uh, you know, I see Matt Janssen banging in goals wearing it. I, by the same token, also love the the Brazil as well. The first time around of the Brazil kits, just because it was that little bit different from a Palace side. But yeah, red and blue, white shorts, white socks looked fantastic. My predictions for this season. Uh, I massively believe in Roy. Uh, I know we haven't got the, all of the depth in the squad that we want, but uh, we would want. But I think our first team is exceptionally strong for anybody who's going to be uh, down the fighting relegation down the bottom. Uh, I think we will get off to an averagely decent start. The I think they've been pulled together, so I think we're going to be always looking a little bit over our shoulder. But, but when we get to the end of the season, we're a, I think we'll be comfortably placed mid table. Hopefully, a home and away victory versus Brighton and a decent cup run. My prediction for place, I think we're finished 12th. Come on, you palace.
get in there. 